Xiao Yan's eyes were fiery hot as he received the scroll full of fire symbols from Xiao Xian's hand. He hesitated for a moment before suddenly asking, Ancestor, since the Skyfire 3 mysterious change was created by you, you should have also been in possession of a heavenly flame back then, right? Xiao Xin smiled and nodded when he heard this question. He sighed, Back then, I, too, possessed three types of heavenly flames. However, I blew up the three types of heavenly flames after that final battle? Xiao Yan's eyelids involuntarily twitched when he heard this. His heart contained a shock that he could not hide. Xiao Xian was actually forced to the point of exploding the three types of heavenly flames. One could imagine just how dangerous that situation was, however. The thing that caused Xiao Yin to feel somewhat uncertain was how Xiao Xian could control three types of heavenly flames given that it was unlikely that he had practiced a qi method like the flame mantra. Ha <laughs> ha. The Qi method that you practice is indeed very powerful. Although it is not the highest class Qi method that I have seen, its growth potential is quite frightening. Relying on swallowing a heavenly flame to obtain strength is undoubtedly walking on the tip of a blade. This kind of Qi method is dangerous and overbearing. Xiao Xian smiled and spoke after having understood what Xiao Yin was thinking in his heart. When I controlled three types of heavenly flames back then, I was using my strength to forcefully control them. I did not swallow and refine them. Someone who had reached that stage could forcefully suppress even heavenly flames. Xiao Yin nodded. No wonder. Xiao Xian had used the most overbearing method to control the three types of heavenly flames. Given his strength back then, it was possible to suppress the three types of heavenly flames. The Qi method that you practice is most suitable for the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. After swallowing and refining them, you can already use these heavenly flames to the pinnacle. There is not even the slightest resistance. This is something that even the me back then was unable to do. Xiao Xin smiled as he continued. Since you have obtained the complete version of the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change, you should study it properly. Try to successfully train and create the clan tattoo before leaving the heavenly tomb. Xiao Yin nodded and did not say much. He turned around and briefly chatted with Sun Er. After which, he sat down and placed the scroll on his brows. He absorbed the large amount of information within it into his mind. This absorption continued for a moment. Xiao Yin slowly opened his eyes and a solemn expression surfaced on his face. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change First Change Second Change Third Change Suddenly, Xiao Yin's hands formed some seals with lightning-like speed. The Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change was completely activated within a short few seconds. At the same time the aura within Xiao Yan's body also soared, a searing hot violent Dou Qi swiftly circulated around Xiao Yan's body. Wave after wave of heat slowly seeped out and entered his blood vessels. The flow of blood within his veins suddenly became faster. With his outstanding spiritual perception, Xiao Yan could sense a mysterious energy rapidly shuttling within his blood vessels. Its destination appeared to be his brows. While the mysterious energy within Xiao Yan's body was shuttling around, some natural lines gradually began to appear on Xiao Yan's brows in the outside world. Soon after the first appeared, there seemed to be another line following close behind. Qi. A slight sound was suddenly emitted from Xiao Yan's body when the third line appeared and those mysterious lines that had just appeared gradually disappeared. Xiao Yan's eyes opened when those lines disappeared. He frowned. Some doubt appeared in his eyes. Clearly, he did not understand the reason for his failure. The clan tattoo of the Xiao clan is divided into nine strokes. You only formed three strokes earlier, Xiao Xian by the side spoke in an indifferent manner. The final step after... Executing the Skyfire 3 mysterious change is to draw the clan tattoo. Although the clan tattoo is always in your body, you need to activate it, 
drawing the clan tattoo will require an extremely great amount of dochi and exquisite control. The current you has just experienced a sudden increase in your strength. Clearly, you have yet to reach the stage where you can truly control it at will. The exhaustion from just these three strokes is already terrifying. Will anyone dare to activate the clan tattoo when fighting with another? Xiao Yin bitterly laughed. As long as you activate the clan tattoo, you will no longer need to exhaust such an enormous amount of Do Qi to form the strokes. All you need to do is think about it, and you will be able to unleash the clan tattoo. As the saying goes, the start of everything is difficult. This activation of the clan tattoo is the hardest step. Xiao Xian explained with a smile as he waved his hand. All right, continue. Being able to draw three strokes on the first attempt is already quite good. Calm your heart and control your Do Qi perfectly. Only then will you be able to perfectly draw the nine strokes. Xiao Yin merely nodded when he heard Xiao Xian's urging. He threw a helpless pair of eyes at Sun Air while she covered her mouth and softly laughed. She returned an expression that suggested she could not do anything to help. Who? Xiao Yin inhaled a deep breath of air. He quickly calmed his emotions and adjusted himself a little. Subsequently, he once again began to form the clan tattoo. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change The difficulty of forming the clan tattoo had exceeded Xiao Yan's expectation. He had originally thought that this thing would be easy. However, it was unexpectedly this troublesome. These short few strokes possessed an incredibly harsh requirement in terms of Do Qi control. At this moment, Xiao Yin finally understood just how tragic it was for the Xiao clan compared to an ancient clan like the Gu clan, where the clan tattoo was bestowed by the elders of the clan. Fortunately, there was still plenty of time in the heavenly tomb. Although the progress was a little slow, there would ultimately be a day when he fully succeeded. Time swiftly flowed by while Xiao Yin was bitterly attempting to draw the clan tattoo. This kind of training might be frustrating, but it did not appear boring. At times, Xiao Yin would remember Gu Qingyang and the rest who were outside of the tomb. However, he did not find even the slightest bit of time to be lazy in front of Xiao Xin's strict monitoring. Half a year passed by in a flash amid this bitter and dull training. A skinny figure sat in the hall that was filled with an ancient atmosphere. His eyes were tightly shut as the aura of his body appeared vast and majestic. At this moment, many strange purple-red lines appeared to be forming because of an invisible pin. Upon closer observation, the eighth stroke showed signs of appearing as a perfect line. From the appearance, a clan tattoo that was emitting a mysterious energy had mostly taken shape. Xiao Xian was watching the eighth line form of the clan tattoo on Xiao Yan's brows. He slowly nodded. Being able to form eight strokes of the clan tattoo within half a year was a speed that could be considered among the top even in the Xiao clan back then. Moreover, Xiao Yan had begun to draw the clan tattoo just after his strength soared. His speed caused the difficulty to significantly rise. Xiao Xian had just nodded when he saw a purple-red line slowly start to form on Xiao Yan's brows. Xiao Xian was immediately stunned upon seeing this line. Some surprise quickly flashed across his eyes. This little fellow is thinking of using the momentum to draw the ninth stroke? While Xiao Xian felt surprised in his heart, the mysterious line on Xiao Yan's brow was slowly formed in a very stable manner. It did not pause along the way. At a glance, it was filled with a natural beauty. This little fellow really surprises people. That final line was completed at an extremely slow speed after Xiao Xian exclaimed in surprise. When the final stroke landed, a mysterious purple-red clan tattoo instantly appeared on Xiao Yan's forehead. Buzz. The blood flowing within Xiao Yan's body suddenly sped up the moment the clan tattoo was formed. A strange voice was slowly transmitted through his blood vessels and body. Success. A joy flashed over Xiao Xian's eyes when he heard the humming sound of the blood vessels. Who? 
Xiao Yan's tightly shut eyes were suddenly opened when the clan tattoo was formed. A purple-red light surged into his eyes. He gradually got used to the light a moment later. After which, the clan tattoo between his brows slowly disappeared under his skin with just a thought. It has finally been successfully activated. Xiao Yin gave a long sigh. Although the clan tattoo on his brows had already disappeared, he could sense a mysterious energy light suspended under his brows. By being in possession of this clan tattoo, he would no longer need to activate the Skyfire 3 mysterious change in the future. With just a thought, this clan tattoo would become a perfect secret technique. Xiao Yan's body trembled as he stood up. He heard a clear sound being emitted from his bones, causing him to smile. Half a year of training had not only allowed him to successfully form the clan tattoo, but his control over the Dou Qi in his body once again reached a peak. The current him could truly be counted as Dou Zun at the peak of the eighth star. Counting the time, three years should also be up. Xiao Yin slowly raised his eyes as he sensed the enormous difference between the current him and the person who had entered the heavenly tomb three years ago. He looked outside the ancient hall. Perhaps it was time to return. There are still around five days left before three years is up. This heavenly tomb trip will come to an end. Sun Air by the side smiled and spoke as she studied the expression of contemplation on Xiao Yan's face. Xiao Yin could not resist sighing softly when he heard this. He did not expect three years to pass in the blink of an eye. Although only half a year had passed in the outside world, they had trained bitterly for three years. Although the training was bitter and dull, it was fortunate that its effects were unexpectedly good. Xiao Yin had only just advanced to a six-star Dou Zun after entering the heavenly tomb back then. However, he had reached the peak of an eight-star Dou Zun. Adding his many techniques and the clan tattoo, he would be able to fight even a nine-star elite Dou Zun. The three years had allowed Xiao Yin to experience a drastic transformation. Haha, ha, it is also time to leave. Time really flies. Xiao Xin by the side also laughed. His voice contained a faint sadness. The heavenly tomb might enable him to live in another form, but it also left him with an endless loneliness. He was like a criminal trapped in a world void of liveliness. Ancestor, will you still continue to exist in this manner in the future? Xiao Yin was silent for a moment before inquiring. Xiao Xin softly sighed. He nodded and replied, this is the price for surviving in another form. We cannot leave the heavenly tomb. Once we step out of here, we will instantly vanish. Hence, we can only survive in this world in this manner and endure the loneliness. Hearing the faint desolation in Xiao Xin's words, Xiao Yan's heart felt extremely terrible. Xiao Yin and Sun Er had only stayed in this place for three years, and they found that it was difficult to stay longer. Yet Xiao Xian had been stuck in this place for hundreds or even thousands of times longer than them. Is there any other way for you to be revived? Xiao Yin slowly asked. Ha ha, I am aware that you are an alchemist. Some high-tier medicinal pills can indeed revive a person on the brink of death. However, I am a soul that died a countless of years ago. Moreover, this soul is incomplete. Xiao Xian smiled and appeared quite open-minded. He patted Xiao Yan's shoulder and said, Little fellow, if you feel terrible in your heart, you should try your best to break through to the Dou Di class. If you can reach that level, you might think of a way to help me escape. However, it is pointless for the current you to think about. The reason that I have endured the loneliness and remained here is not because I wish to be revived. Instead, I had hoped to be able to pass down the bloodline strength of the Shao clan. I did not want the bloodline strength of the Shao clan to be buried in this dark, heavenly tomb with me. Xiao Yin inhaled a deep breath of air and suppressed the churning emotions in his heart. He was aware that what Xiao Xin was saying was true. Even if Xiao Yin really possessed a method to free him, he did not possess the ability to do so. Ancestor, please rest assured. 
I will definitely return to the heavenly tomb again. However, I will have broken through to the Doshan class the next time I return, Xiao Yin replied in a deep voice. Although it would be extremely difficult to reach the Doshan class, he would do his best no matter what. A B C. Xiao Xin smiled in a pleased manner as he studied Xiao Yan's grave face. He suddenly beckoned with his hand, and Xiao Yan's storage ring shook. A palm-sized light cluster drifted out and stopped in front of Xiao Xin. This is... Xiao Yin was slightly startled when he saw the thing that floated out. He could see a fist-sized piece of jade suspended in the light cluster. A mysterious aura was vaguely emitted from it. This is the insect queen of the ancient devouring insect. This insect queen has also reached a level equivalent to the Banshan class of humans, but it is currently in hibernation. Otherwise, you would not have tunneled through the energy wall so easily. Xiao Xian smiled and informed them. Banshan class insect queen? Xiao Yan's face twitched when he heard these words. His hand quickly became a little numb. It was really the case of the ignorant being fearless. If he had known that this thing was that terrifying, he would not have grabbed it out of curiosity. No wonder the ancient devouring insects had become crazy after we exited the crystal wall. It was because Xiao Yin Ji Ji had brought the insect queen out. Suner curiously glanced at the jade object and laughed. If you were allowed to take this thing out and it woke up, the insect queen would quietly enter your body and secretly devour your dou chi. Unless an elite dou sheng intervened, it would be impossible to find it within your body. Xiao Xian explained with a smile. A cold sweat immediately appeared on Xiao Yan's forehead when he heard this. He had already experienced this once. Even though the current him was no longer his past self, he still did not wish to touch these damn things. Fortunately, Ancestor has sharp eyes. Otherwise, I would have ended up harmed by this damn devouring insect queen. Xiaoyan spoke with some fear lingering in his heart. Haha, ha, this insect queen is indeed troublesome. However, it is the best material to make an ancient insect emperor cloth. Xiaoxian smiled. He started to explain when he saw Xiao Yan's uncertain eyes. The ancient insect emperor cloth is a kind of special defensive dough skill. After refinement, it will be able to take on an armor shape that covers one's body. This thing was most popular during the ancient times. Based on my expectations, if this insect is used to refine the ancient insect emperor cloth, it will likely be able to endure an attack by an elite Ban Sheng without being destroyed. Oh! Xiao Yan's eyes brightened when he heard that this unassuming thing could actually endure the attack of an elite Ban Sheng. His body already possessed the Dragon Phoenix ancient armor. If this ancient insect emperor cloth was added to it, he should be able to retain his little life even if he were to endure a blow from an elite Dou Sheng, right? You can rest assured. Leave the refinement of this thing to me. I will hand the ancient insect emperor cloth to you before you leave, Xiao Xian smiled and said. The current you should make full use of the time to do another thing. What thing? Xiao Yin asked in a startled manner. To finish off the two members of the Hun clan. After suffering such a great loss, one cannot just forget about it, right? A member of the Xiao clan is not magnanimous. Xiao Xian spoke with a faint smile. Hunya and Hunli Ha. Huh? Xiao Yan's eyes shrank after listening to his ancestor. He replied, How can I forget about those two? However, it is just that I am unaware of where they have hidden to at this moment. Xiao Yan's current strength had soared. If he were to face Hunya and Hunli, he would be able to finish the both of them off without having to summon the Sky Demon Puppet. The only living individuals on the heavenly tomb were the few of them. This place was filled with danger. Even if those two were to die in this place, it was likely that no one would know. It was really the best location for murder. As long as they are still in the heavenly tomb, they will not be able to escape my senses. Xiao Xian gave a slight grin. He gently waved his hand. The space in front of him fluctuated as a crack line slowly formed. Xiao Yin shook his head. 
The corner of his mouth was lifted into a dense, cold smile. He did not say anything else as he strode forward and entered the spatial crack. Sun Air er followed close behind. Xiao Xin smiled when he saw the two of them vanish into the spatial crack. This could be considered Xiao Yan's final training before leaving. A faint energy fog lingered in the air of this endless land. Energy bodies would occasionally drift by. They were extremely silent, appearing just like ghosts. A figure wearing a silver armor was seated in the air above a messy rock ruin. Powerful energy spread from its body. Clearly, this figure was an energy body that had reached the nine-star level. At this moment, this energy body's eyes were cautiously sweeping the area below. Although not a single person was present, his many years of instincts caused him to feel a hint of danger. The energy body focused for a long time, but it was to no avail. But this nine-star energy body had just relaxed when the space around him suddenly froze. Two black chains penetrated empty space with lightning-like speed. They were accompanied by a ringing sound as they rapidly penetrated this energy body. Subsequently, a black figure appeared in the empty space in a flash and grabbed the nine-star energy core. These energy bodies possess a great energy, but they do not have the slightest fighting strength. That black figure randomly put the energy core into his storage ring. He raised his head and revealed a ghastly young face. It was surprisingly Hunya from back then. There are quite a number of powerful energy bodies in the deepest parts of the heavenly tomb. However, that fellow is too frightening. It is best to stay away from him. Another figure appeared soon after. A face covered in frightening scars revealed itself to be Hunli. Emph! It is unexpected that there is an expert from the Shao clan in this heavenly tomb. That bastard Shao Yin really has quite good luck. Hun Ya's eyes were shady. He continued in a dense voice, We are leaving the heavenly tomb soon. Remember to use the spatial jade token to leave once we get out. If any news spreads, the Gu clan will definitely hold us back. As for Xiao Yin, Hmph. Once we have the opportunity in the future, I will naturally lead some people to eliminate the falling star pavilion along with him. Hun Li slowly nodded. A rich killing desire filled both of his eyes. They had been subdued by Xiao Yin ever since they had entered the heavenly tomb. How could these two proud fellows accept this outcome? There is no need to wait until next time. Would it not be a lot easier to resolve things now? You too, aren't I right? However, a mysterious ripple suddenly appeared when Hun Li nodded. A soft laughter slowly spread as two figures stepped onto empty space. They appeared with smiling faces while Hunya and Hunli appeared gloomy. Xiao Yin. Hunya's and Hunli's expressions slowly darkened when they saw the two figures steadily walk out of the void. Xiao Yin gently stretched his body. He and Sun Air er were suspended in the air. His eyes were looking at the Hun duo below in a slightly teasing manner as he said, It has been two years since we last met. Looks like the both of you have not been doing very well. Hun Ya's expression was gloomy. His eyes suddenly swept around him, but his heart quietly sighed in relief after failing to find that mysterious expert from back then. He coldly laughed, Xiao Yin, you should not be overly arrogant. Even if I cannot get rid of you in the heavenly tomb, you will sooner or later be a homeless stray once we leave this place. Since that is the case, I should get the both of you to remain here forever. I think that given the strength of the both of you, you should be able to become eight-star energy bodies, right? Xiao Yin faintly smiled. However, his words caused a chill to rise within Hun Ya and Hun Li's bodies. Eight-star energy bodies were basically lowly existences in the third level of the heavenly tomb. If the two of them were to become that existence, it would be much better to simply die. You really think too highly of yourself. Hunya's duo narrowed their eyes. Their tones were dark and sinister. After having exchanged blows the last time, they understood that they were unable to easily defeat Xiao Yin and Sun Er. However, 
Xiao Yan's group did not have the ability to stop them if they wished to escape. Is that so? Xiao Yin grinned and softly wondered aloud. Just what qualifications do you, trash from the declined Xiao clan, have to act arrogantly in front of us? If you hadn't been relying on a woman's strength, you would have already died many times over. Hunley coldly ridiculed. The murderous desire in his eyes appeared extremely dense. If he wasn't afraid of Sun Air, he would have already attacked without control and completely finished off Xiao Yin. Do not be impulsive. They naturally possess some confidence to have the courage to appear. Let's withdraw first. Hunya appeared a lot calmer. Although only Xiao Yin and Sun Air had appeared at this moment, he could vaguely feel an uneasiness. He grabbed Hunli and spoke in a deep voice. Hunli hesitated after hearing what Hunya had said. He could only unwillingly nod as he chillingly said, Xiao Yin, you better remember this. The next time we meet will definitely be the time when your falling star pavilion is annihilated. Hunli and Hunya flew back after saying those words. Their eyes cautiously remained on Xiao Yin and Sun Er. The Dou Qi within their bodies began to rapidly circulate. I'm afraid that whether or not you can leave is not up to the two of you. Xiao Yin grinned and softly commented when he saw Hunya and Hunli pulling back. Leave it to me. Xiao Yan's body disappeared in a ghost-like fashion after his final words sounded. An enchanting smile surfaced on Sun Er's face as she watched Xiao Yin disappear. The current Xiao Yin had already reached the peak of an eight-star Dou Zun. This kind of level was stronger than the Hun duo. Hence, the present Xiao Yin was sufficient to deal with those two. Himph, you are asking to die. Hunya and Hunli sensed something the moment Xiao Yan's body disappeared. A fierce glint flickered in Hunli's eyes. His body shook abruptly as he clenched his fist, and a cold black fog surged out. It ruthlessly smashed toward the empty space in front of him. A somewhat illusory body slowly appeared when Hun Li's fist punched at the air. A long arm was extended and gently grabbed Hun Li's fist, which was covered in black fog. A frightening flame spluttered out of Xiao Yan's palm when the fist and palm collided. The dark cold fog on Hun Li's fist emitted a sizzling sound as it was completely vaporized. You have improved so little during these two years. How disappointing. Xiao Yan's hand was just like a rock. It did not move even a little regardless of how Hun Li struggled. Xiao Yan slowly shook his head as he watched Hun Li's expression change. Xiao Yan shook his arm and strangely bypassed Hun Li's fist before smashing the other party's chest with lightning-like speed. A frightening force suddenly erupted like a volcano that had been brewed for a long time upon contact. Bang! The fierce force made Hun Li's chest quiver. Having suffered such a heavy blow, Hun Li's expression had turned pale in an instant. A mouthful of crimson blood was wildly spat from his mouth. His body flew back like a kite with a broken string. He finally rubbed against the ground and formed a hundred-meter gully before slowly coming to a stop. Eight Star Do Zoon? Shock suddenly surged onto Hun Ya's face as he glanced at Hun Li in the gully, who was struggling to climb to his feet. Both of his eyes were filled with disbelief as he looked at Xiao Yin. The aura that had erupted from Xiao Yin earlier had reached the eighth star, and the strength of that aura was much stronger than his. How is this possible? Hun Ya's mouth twitched. His heart involuntarily let out a roar. During these short two years, the two of them had failed to even increase their strength by one star. Yet Xiao Yin had soared from a six-star Do Zun to the eighth star. Hunya was really unable to accept this kind of vast difference. It is your turn. Xiao Yan's eyes landed on the shocked-looking Hunya after finishing off Hunli with a fast and powerful momentum. He laughed in a faint voice. Hunya clenched his fist when he saw Xiao Yin look over. His pupils became sinister as they stared at Xiao Yin before both of his hands formed numerous seals. With the change of these seals, a mysterious clan tattoo swiftly appeared on his brow. 
Although I am unaware of why your strength has soared, you are still unqualified to retain me. Hun Ya's strength rapidly soared with the appearance of the clan tattoo. The sharp, miserable cry of spirits continued to be emitted from his body. Xiao Yan's strength might have soared to its current level, but it was not enough to cause Hun Ya to panic. Earlier, Hun Li was at a disadvantage because he was careless. He had suffered a fatal blow before he could even activate his clan tattoo. Otherwise, Xiao Yin would not have been able to defeat Hun Li this quickly. Hence, Hun Ya believed that as long as he was a little more careful, it would not be simple for Xiao Yin to retain him. Hun Ya had no intention of remaining behind to engage in a bitter fight with Xiao Yin despite having summoned the clan tattoo. There was still an even more powerful Sun Air watching menacingly from the side. Once she intervened, Hun Ya knew that he would certainly die. He took advantage of the great rise in his Do Chi. His body turned, and he transformed into a ray of light that hurried far away. Hun Li, you can rest assured that I will help you take revenge a hundred times over for this. Hun Ya clenched his teeth and spoke while his body was wildly rushing away. However, Hun Ya's voice had just escaped his mouth when his swift figure suddenly paused. He lifted his head and his eyes looked a short distance away in a hateful manner. A figure flapping a pair of crystal clear bone wings was standing in the air. That mocking face surprisingly belonged to Xiao Yin. Seeing the speed of Xiao Yin, which could not be detected, Hun Ya's heart also sank, but he did not hesitate much. His foot stepped on empty air, and the Do Chi within his body erupted without being held back. It carried an extremely powerful energy pressure as it rushed toward Xiao Yin. There was little change in Xiao Yan's face when he saw Hun Ya risking it all. His body did not retreat. He instead took a step forward. His eyes were calm as he watched that swiftly enlarging energy light figure. Xiao Yin, die. Hun Ya felt a slight joy in his heart when he saw that Xiao Yin was too arrogant to dodge. Having activated his clan tattoo, even an expert Do Zun at the peak of the eighth star would not dare to clash head on with him. Xiao Yin was undoubtedly suicidal. Chi. Hun Ya was extremely swift and fierce. In a flash, he had appeared in front of Xiao Yin. A wild and violent wind pressed on Xiao Yin robes until they fluttered. His right hand was clenched into a fist. The mighty Do Chi in his body gathered as he ruthlessly threw out a punch. Bang! After Hun Ya's punch was thrown, the space in front of him collapsed. A five feet large black spatial line quickly expanded toward Xiao Yin. Xiao Yin, this is the fate of boasting to be more than you are capable of. You should firmly remember it in your next life. A punch that contained a terrifying wind swiftly smashed toward Xiao Yin. Regardless of how fast Xiao Yin was, he would not be able to dodge this attack. Hence, a dense cold smile surfaced on Hun Ya's face. A faint ripple finally rose within Xiao Yin old well-like dark black eyes. A ridiculing smile was lifted on his face as a purple-red light flickered on his brows. Finally, a mysterious clan tattoo slowly appeared. Xiao Clan's clan tattoo? Hun Ya's heart abruptly trembled the moment this clan tattoo appeared. An unease quietly spread from deep within his heart. It's over. Xiao Yin smiled as he studied the dense face in front of him, which was in close proximity. He clenched his right fist, and a turbulent Do Chi suddenly blasted forth. Bang! Both of the fists suddenly collided. A frighteningly loud sound exploded like thunder. Many ten-foot-large lines began to spread swiftly on the ground like a spider web. Chi! A black figure suddenly flew out of the energy storm that raged in the sky. The figure heavily crashed onto the ground. The large rocks in its path were blasted into dust amid many rumbling sounds. Grug. A mouthful of fresh blood mixed with organ fragments was spat out of Hun Ya's mouth as he lay within the thick rock dust. He sensed that his life was quickly disappearing from his body. A horror and regret finally surged into his eyes. 
A skinny figure was slowly appearing in the sky. Indifferent eyes glanced at Hunya below, who was on his deathbed. His head shook as he stepped through the empty air as he slowly walked to that beautiful figure in the distance. Relax, there will be even more members of the Hun clan who will accompany you in the future. Hun Ya's eyes gradually succumbed to the darkness as an indifferent voice was softly transmitted to his ears.